But let's focus on the railways. You know, a lot of the stocks are buzzing around. This has Mr. Ashwini Vaishnav has taken charge as the railway minister in NDA 3.0. How are the hopes of continuity in the railway orders? How is the sector expected to perform from year on under a coalition government? And what is the outlook? Well, to discuss this and more, we're joined by Mr. Umesh Chaudhary, the Vice Chairman and MD at Tidagar Rail Systems. Uh, hi, Mr. Chaudhary. Good morning and good to see you in. Continuity is something that the stock market wanted. And I'm sure as a participant in the industry, you as well will be quite happy to see continuity in terms of a ministry. Could you tell us how does this change things? The only worry that the stock market has is now it's a coalition government, so maybe the decisions don't come about. Your quick comment on that, and then we get straight to business. Sure. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me uh, with you. And uh, it's not only the stock market uh, that wanted continuity, much more than the stock market, the industry wanted continuity. Uh, particularly, you know, I mean, uh, if, if you look at the, the growth that the railway sector has seen under the current railway minister, and then overall, in the, the last 10 years under the uh, Modi 2 uh, regime, uh, it was very important that this momentum uh, that has picked up in the railways continues. And with the, with the current railway minister, Mr. Vaishnav, uh, continuing to be the minister, industry is extremely buoyant and uh, very, uh, very happy that this uh, momentum is likely to not only continue but to accelerate. Okay. All right. Uh, got that. So give us then a couple of uh, numbers. What is your current order book? If you could tell us as on date, what is it? And what are the kind of order inflows you're factoring in for this year? A, a rough number. And, so, and if you could give us a comparative number as well, what were the order inflows in the past year? Sure. So, um, you know, I would not be able to give you the current order book, but what we had declared with our uh, last results in uh, uh, the March results, that our total order book was about 28,000 crores in which uh, uh, half of it was our, our share of the joint ventures of the uh, of the uh, SPVs that we have uh, got the tenders in. And the balance is uh, split between the passenger and the, uh, uh, and the rail uh, and the freight side. Mm. Okay, all right. And so the fresh orders that we are expecting, yes. I believe that, uh, you know, there is going to be a, a big, big uh, spurt of the Passenger trains, uh, wagon, of course, is already there. The freight wagon business, the railways already, we know the targets that are there. The freight targets are very, very uh, buoyant. But also in terms of the passenger trains, we have seen the railway minister in the past announce that they will be the, we will be entering into the era of waitlist free travel and so on. So uh, that obviously means that a lot of new Vande Bharats will come up. I would only say that we are creating capacity, which is uh, which is quite substantial. You know, I've uh, disclosed in the past that we are setting up capacity to be able to produce almost 850 passenger coaches a year between Metro and Vande Bharat. And we believe that the demand that is likely to come up is going to take up that capacity. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Chaudhary, uh, and, and you'd said uh, that uh, you were expecting a large number of tenders on the passenger side, both from metros and Vande Bharat, right? And the next, in the so a lot of them in the pipeline. I think last when we spoke in May, you said that uh, uh, that this is the railway ministry figure, 3,500 Vande Bharats to be added in the next five to seven years. So yeah, the opportunity is there. Now, uh, just a quick point, a detour actually, uh, Mr. Chaudhary, Prashant here. You know, you, one, uh, there, are, there have been news articles, there have been uh, a fair bit of chatter on social media, etc., about uh, how maybe, you know, in, in, in railways, you need maybe more capacity at the lower end, not just the Vande Bharats. Uh, there are two issues. One, of course, is price, affordability for Vande Bharats, which is at a premium. And, of course, second, at the, low, at the lower end, uh, you need more capacity, overcrowding in trains, etc., etc., because this is the third term, and uh, you know, Nigel started by asking, and you mentioned policy continuity with Mr. Vaishnav, but do you see any any slight sort of change in uh, direction? Uh, maybe a little uh, less focus on uh, the Vande Bharat, maybe, uh, but a little bit more on the other uh, sort of other regular trains. I mean, just your thoughts on this, on this debate. In between, but uh, uh, whatever I could make out of the question, I'll, I'll try to answer that. Uh, you know, if we look at the railways, what they have done is uh, they have come up with different versions of Vande Bharat. So there is a Vande Sadharan, there is a Vande Bharat, there is a Vande Bharat sleeper that we are doing. There is a Vande Bharat chair car, which is already running. So uh, the Vande Metro is uh, has been announced. So 
the number of variants of the vande category so let's let's not look at vande bharat as one uh, one type of train this is one class of train what does that class signify it is a class that signifies better comfort better safety uh, a higher quality uh, train travel in general and then it is being catered into you know it's it's almost like the airlines there are budget airlines there are premium airlines and there are business classes and first classes in international travel so my personal understanding is that the railways is moving towards that uh, and there are different uh, options that will be offered for the different uh, audience uh, or different clientele if i may say so. hmm. yeah. but uh, within within these right uh, the uh, as you said i mean there are different categories in that sense but uh, could the focus shift a little bit from the premium vandes to the lower end uh, uh, vande bharat is that, that i mean i don't know if that's the right way to ask you i mean do you expect a, a more focus there and does that so mean I, anything for your business yeah uh, so 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 yeah i was about to say that as far as we are concerned you know we are making trains so we can make trains of different categories of different classes and uh, depending upon what kind of uh, trains are required by the market the amenities which will be fitted into the train or the facilities that will be provided within that train uh, will be adjusted accordingly but having said that uh, on a larger scale i believe uh, the, this is my personal view that uh, uh, the while while the uh, uh, trains to cater to the masses will of course be uh, uh, in the in there in the future and there will be a focus towards that i don't think that that will be at the cost of uh, uh, putting in trains that are also con- uh, catering to the higher end of the spectrum you know uh, I, I always believe that uh, the train that is being done by the railways, uh, where we have been fortunate to be a partner of uh, party to this, which is the Vande Bharat sleeper version, will give us stiff competition to the airline and the hotel because it will be basically a hotel room on wheels uh, for the for a particular class of travelers. So uh, I believe that the trains that will be there required or will be there in the uh, Indian railway system will be catering to the different. Uh, uh strata of the society different requirements of the society and in either which ways our capacity is fully fungible whether it is a, a ordinary uh, non air conditioned train or an air conditioned train we would be able to cater to that uh, seg- to all these segments equally uh, with equal comfort sure sure uh, mr chaudhary you uh, guided for improving margins i think fy25 uh, the outlook you've given is about 10% and gradually it could go up to 13 to 15% over fy26 is that going to be a function of the fact that your passenger business will scale up i mean typically what's uh, what's the variation in margin between freight and passenger and within passenger if you could tell us there's there's one day and then there is a lot of the metro work that you're doing as well so what will be the profile of your passenger book sure so uh, as far as again you know when i spoke about fungibility on our capacity our capacity is also fungible between vande and uh, metro uh, so basically we will have a capacity to produce 850 coaches a year uh, in what we are installing uh, currently which will be fungible between metro and uh, uh, vande bharat right now the planned is uh, planned capacity is half and half our capacity utilization is half and half in terms of the mar- margin profile for the passenger and i speak about the passenger alone right now uh, as i had mentioned that once we are able to reach a certain uh, volume right now we are in the very nascent stage of the business last year we did hardly about 3 to 4 coaches on an average per month this year we should be able to increase that to about uh, close to 15 coaches and then thereafter the 2026 would be the real jump because the vande bharat production will also start so uh, the margin will move uh, to about 10 11% uh, uh, with the with both the segments uh, without propulsion uh, being uh, manufactured by us and we believe no. by fy26 and 27 we would be able to make all the propulsion or most of the propulsion required in house which will then improve no. our margin to about 15% okay just one last number sir before we let you go what's the capex outlay for this year how much are you spending this year so between last year and this year we'll be spending about 1000 crores uh, and uh, that is already on on stream okay all right mr chaudhary we'll uh, leave it on that note for today good luck with those plans and now there's clarity there is policy continuity in your segment uh, so i guess uh, you and the markets will hope for the best